What is the President's um, position on Manila Bay reclamation since several groups have urged the President to unconditionally revoke all environmental compliance certificate for uh, Manila Bay reclamation? And um, there's a statement previously from the Philippine Reclamation Authority that there are 22 reclamation activities in Manila Bay. Well, right now, uh, what I have been given uh, some latitude to do is to actually present a cumulative impact assessment of the different individual projects. Ang nangyari po kasi in the past, ang evaluation po ng mga projects na ito have been on an individual basis. Uh, globally po ang practice, whenever you have several projects in a single ecosystem, you need a cumulative impact assessment. And so we are undertaking that. Alam niyo po, there is a Manila Bay Sustainable Development Master Plan that was also contracted during the previous administration. We are actually using the baseline of that Manila Bay Sustainable Development Master Plan and taking that baseline, comparing it with the technical descriptions of all the different reclamation projects in Manila Bay. Just to add to that question in terms of a complication layer, the DNR is also, of course, one of the mandamus agencies no? in the decision by the Supreme Court to actually rehabilitate the bay. What we are concerned about is our task in terms of implementing that mandamus okay, is actually going to be impeded by some of these developments. And so, for example, may mga STP na po that have been set up, as you know, in, to, in order to treat the water that flows back into the bay. Uh, saan po ilalagay ang mga future STPs at ano pa mangyayari sa mga STPs na nandiyan na in terms of the effluent pathways na in prior to the approval of any of these projects. So as you can understand it, may mga tubo po yan, ilalabas nila yung treated water. Kung meron po nakaharang, edyo may problema po tayo. So we have a mandamus uh, that we need to implement. That's by law already, uh, by the decision of the Supreme Court. And we need to also now actually evaluate the cumulative impact of all of those uh, projects together. As of now, Secretary, wala pa namang pinatitigil ang DNR na reclamation activity sa Manila Bay? We are, we are looking at compliance for those that have already begun uh, working. No? Uh, and also calling them in. So, kinakausap po namin ngayon ang mga nag-umpisa na. May mga nakita po bang violations ng DNR? There are discussions ongoing with at least one party. Uh, may we know? I, 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 we are, since bago lang ang, uh, ang release ng information, they will be called in for a technical conference uh, to see whether uh, may explanation po sila sa mga inobserved na uh, potential no? uh, non-compliance. If okay lang, Secretary, kung ano po yung naging violation nila, kaya po sila pinatawag? Iba-iba uh, po. Um, and so, uh, may mga, kasi may mga issues, for example, na related to mga conditions na on the basis of which the no objection uh, was given by other departments and agencies. So, there are conditions that need to be complied with in order for the no objection to actually take effect. So, yung mga condition po na naka-identify naka po yan in the ECC. And so, we're looking at each one of those uh, specific conditions and seeing whether um, nag-comply na po ba sila. Thank you for watching Politico TV. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos.